Hi everyone and a great big welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been a while since the last video but lots has been going on with the launch of my new business but I finally got around to doing the video I've been promising for such a long time explaining all about our Pax wardrobes, what's inside, how much it costs and how to buy your own. So here goes. Tons and tons of questions about them every single time I post. So these are 250 centimetres wide, 50 centimetres deep. So we've got five hinged mirrored doors, which people seem to have trouble finding online. So later on in this video, I will actually go on my laptop and show you the PAX planner, how you build it and how you find these doors specifically. Another element I get asked about a lot are these lights on the top here. So these are wired in separately around the back and they are controlled using a remote control device like this as well. So you can turn them on or off and make them brighter or duller. These are also from Ikea, but you buy them separately to the PAX wardrobes and they cost £25 each. I'll link them below. All in all, these PAX wardrobes cost us just short of £700 and we then bought the three lights on top at a separate time of £75. The cost all depends on the elements you have internally as well as the doors and obviously the size of the PAX wardrobes. So we've ultimately split our wardrobe into two, the right hand side being mine, so I've got a rail for my clothes, half of it is for tops and half of it runs longer for the dresses. I've then got drawers for underwear, pyjamas and trousers to be folded and two pull out drawers there for shoes. These drawers are really handy so you can pull them out. So we have them in the centre section as well for towels so you can get to the back of the drawers and we have them for each of our shoes as well. And all the drawers in this PAX unit are slow clothes as well. As an extra, we've added these hooks to the inside of our doors, which allows for bags, scarves, or anything else to hang up. The centre part of this unit is just a single door, and it's mainly where we keep towels and bedding. So we've got Tom's towels at the top, hand towels, second, some bedding, my towels. I have a shelf for photo frames, is that normal? <laughs> Spare cushions and Tom's shoes. So for this high up shelf, we opted for a pull out shelf again, just so that we could reach things on the back. And there are more photo frames up there. This means we can use it for multiple different options. And so as I don't get into trouble, I won't take you inside Tom's half of the wardrobe, but it's very similar to mine. The only difference being, whereas I have a long section for dresses, he has a rail at the bottom half of his to hang trousers. One element I will show you from Tom's side actually is one of these basket drawers which are quirky compared to the standard drawers. I think these would be great if you were using the packed wardrobes to store away kids toys or something like that. Here is the second Pax wardrobes which is currently in the girls playroom. So in here we fit most of their stuff. The left hand side has been split into two sections for each girl's clothing. So Chloe's clothes are on the top rail, Sophie's on the bottom, and there's space there for a washing basket as well. At the top, there's a really decent sized shelf for spare nappies, coat hangers, a couple of keepsake party bags from their birthday last year that were gifted from Maybella Designs and on the top there there's room as well for other accessories. The S, the butterflies and the C are all from Dotty Raras that were kindly gifted to us and also up here we have wiring ready for lighting to go on top similar to our master bedroom. On the right hand side we have more shelving space these storage boxes are mainly from TK Maxx. That's a great place to go and get colourful, pretty storage boxes like these. And the clear plastic boxes you see are just cheaper options that you can get from cheap pound stores, for example. So these are really good size shelving. We've got one there for their trousers, a pile for Chloe, a pile for Sophie, and a little £1.50 storage box from Tesco, which are really great and cheap and we have all over the house. At the bottom we've got drawer space for vests, pyjamas, underwear and a pull-out shelf for shoes. 
So these drawers are really decent size. And here at the moment, I've just got two vests to show you. You can also buy drawer organizers as well, which will split the drawers because they are so big into different sections. So you can get them in different sizes, depending on what you're wanting to keep in each drawer. And at the bottom, we have one of the pull-out drawers for their different shoes. Their summer shoes at the moment are obviously downstairs because they're in use. So here we've got the winter boots, slippers, and a couple of super cute keepsake shoes that I've kept which are aged three to six months. So obviously they don't fit them, but they are super cute. This particular packs unit is one meter and 75 centimeters, the left hand side making up one meter and the right hand side 75 centimeters. You can build them to the size that you need for the space that you've got. This Pax wardrobe is the same height as the one in our bedroom. It's 201 centimetres tall. We wouldn't have had enough space to build a taller one and move it up into place. In these boxes, we keep spare wipes and nappy bags. And in the second one, spare nappies that are open. Again, same as the Pax wardrobes in our master bedroom, we've gone for the mirrored hinged doors. People ask me a lot about how we ordered these and they can't do to find them on the website. So hopefully later on this video, I'll be able to show you step by step how we did it. But they are there as an option when you use the Pax Builder tool on the IKEA website. You can just choose these doors as the ones that you want. As you can see, because our wardrobes are 1m75, we've got the smaller door on the end, which makes up that 25cm. The normal doors are 50cm each. People always ask me, how do I stop fingerprints getting all over the mirrors? And as you can probably see, I don't. This is in the kids' playroom. There's so many toys in here that are behind me that you can't see. And this room is more or less always a complete tip. Um, it's where they get to play, they can make mess, and it really doesn't matter. We do have a window cleaning device that we use to clean these mirrors every now and again. And otherwise, I just use traditional furniture, polish and duster, and it seems to remove them really easily. So to create your very own IKEA Pax wardrobe, go to the IKEA website, in the search bar at the top, type in Pax, click on any of the items in the list, scroll down and you'll come to Open Planner and that's where you go to build the planner from scratch, exactly how you want it, you can drag and drop all the different items into place. So for the wardrobes that we've got, you select this square section here. If you need corners or anything else, obviously you can select them there. Start designing. So then you put in here your measurements that you need and click OK. So here you have the frames to drag and drop into place. So the way that we have it for 250 centimetres is we've got one of those in the middle, which has all of our towels and things in it. And then we have one of these each side, where I have my clothes and Tom has his clothes. So once you've got your frame into place, you can click on a section and then it opens up all the different options for you here to choose the doors, interior organisation, accessories for example. So the interior organisers, you've got your rails, your shell, there's a the sliding out drawers for your shoes for example, different dividers, there's all different sorts of things there that you can drag and drop into place. You have to be aware that sometimes things won't work because of hinges, for example, of the doors. And um, so it does take that into consideration for you. Uh, you can get these basket trays here. And you just drag and drop them into place where you want them. Like that. You can work out exactly how many pairs of shoes you've got, so how many shelves you'll need for that. Um, railing wise, whether you have dresses and therefore need a longer area for you to hang with the dresses whether a shorter area of the rail will be better for you. You can take all that into consideration. And then you can choose between hinged doors, which is what we've got, or sliding doors. So loads of people ask me where our mirrored doors are and how we chose them, and they are in this list here somewhere. That'd be one of these options. Let's see if I can find them. There we go. And you just drag and drop them into place. Like so. 
Once you've got your wardrobes exactly how you want them, the total price will show up in this top corner here and you can just click to progress. The wardrobe will then be itemised in your basket and you can go ahead and order it and it will all come. So you can put it together as you planned. I really hope that was helpful and covered everything you needed to know. If I missed anything at all, please leave me a comment below or drop me a message on Instagram and I'd be more than happy to help. In the meantime, please hit the subscribe button below and please check out my brand new luxury range of reed diffusers. Hope to see you soon. Bye.